favorite, so that does speak volumes to what XRB could potentially do here. All right, ladies and gentlemen, grand final. I'm surprised that you guys are more in favor of Method Black. I felt like that last series they were in was pretty shaky against Tempo Storm, and XRB are a higher caliber turbo. We're gonna have to wait and see here if that's the case. I wonder if Looney is playing any cheeky talents or if he's more nervous fighting against Waz and Raikou. A sap secured on Zpi, a great start for Method Black does appear to be Blizzo as the primary target. They're continuing their chain, looking to force any cooldowns early on. They're going to trigger that Veiled Eye shield, soften up Blizzo for a potential attack later on. Blizzo is going to be taking a little bit of damage. They did proc the trinket, like you said. Chaz going to be the target of choice for Blizzo. Uh, when we saw XFD of the Moon go against Temple Storm, it was the Resto Druid that they primarily went after, getting a big, big swap on the Poike earlier. Chaz is going to have to be very, very scared in this matchup because Blizzo and Zipai, they bring the pain. Yeah, but Zipai and Blizzo are going to pressure Chaz a lot more than he's used to in the series against Temple Storm. We're going to have to see how Chaz actually reacts to it. You can see already Looney dropping that Vortex, trying to kind of... Uh, he let history repeat itself from that Ashaman's game against Temple Storm. Chaz, though, not going to be using his blink there, and he's going to safely make it out only using his bark skin. Yeah, I really love what Waz does, and you've pointed this out in the last series where Kidney Shot, he'll pump into Blizzo. As soon as Kidney Shot's ending, he starts sidestepping away, and let, just like this, Kaidi and using Throw Knife to build up combo points allows him to build up energy, and it denies the sustained damage that the Warrior would normally have as an advantage in a one-on-one -on -one with the Rogue really good awareness from Waz. Even it being a long day and long matches, he's still playing at the top of his game. Well, it, the thing is, Waz realizes the limit of his class, and he plays to that limit. He knows the Warrior, if they go toe-to-toe, -to -toe, the Warrior is going to, uh, you know, just do more damage. So his his win conditions, or his pressure condition, I guess, is those kidney shots. So he drops the kidney shot, does a bunch of damage, and then after that, he kites. And that, that's going to force Blizzard to have to hit other targets. And that is so good for the Rogue, because when we saw Nixie do this, he was taking a, a significant amount more damage uh, compared to Waz. Yeah, here's one of the things as well. The reason why Waz can kite is because Raikou, with his Frostbolt, with his snares, is a 65% snare, whereas Blizzo with the hamstring, he only has a 50%. So Waz is always going to have a little bit of a speed advantage. That's why he can slowly walk away from Blizzo, poke in and out, gain his combo points, put up his bleeds, and then walk away. And Blizzo can't really do too much about it. I mean, it's a perfect strategy to also just maintain mana into the late game where they need dampening to deal with the potential off healing from z -Pi and also reduce the effectiveness of Looney's heal over time effects. We see a current attack from Method Black towards Blizzo, but with no crowd control on Looney and him in a great position, it's unlikely they get anything done, and Chaz knows that, so he's going to Cyclone Blizzo, pause the damage, and hang on to more mana into the late game. Yeah, z -Pi gets polymorphed up there. Raku's still doing a good job with his control in this game. It's been on point. That's the reason his team's still in it. Cyclone over on Azipai. Looney gets caught into the polymorph. Blizzo taking the damage once again. Waz secures the full kidney shot. They just go through the shield right away. A lot of bursts coming in from Method Black. This is the icy veins of Raikou. Can they pull out more? Both trinkets going to be used by Blizzo there. So that's a big victory. And Looney's going to be able to get out of this polymorph, I believe, unless there's any follow-up top off Blizzo. But in that exchange, Method Black did pull both those trinkets from Blizzo, like I said. Well, the problem is, they, sure, they gained those two trinkets, right? Which is great. But they also commit all of their damage, and now they're going to have to wait for Vendetta to come back up, or the Icy Veins and the Orb to come back up. And then, when they have those, the trinkets are going to be back up again. So, in reality, it looks like they forced something there, but... It's a stalemate. You're not, they're, you're they're not, gonna... you're not wrong. <laughs> well, I'm the, I'm the, the analyst is my job to tell you about this stuff. I mean, you know about it, but the the general public here yeah. might not be aware of that. Uh, so now, because of the the sustained damage on the side of Method Black being so low, even if they do get this uh, sheep shot, sheep that they're going for right here, it's kind of unlikely that Blizzo actually is in a range, is in a, you know death range essentially on his HP, because all they have is that one uh, measly, measly little frozen orb right there. <laughs> yeah, not going to be doing too much just yet to Blizzo. The rest of the Druid Hots are just so effective. Uh, just a couple of them will be able to heal through all of that damage. Waz still just on z -Pi. So basically what Raikou and Waz are doing, they're they're defending Chaz the best they can. Chaz, he's just going to be running away all game. 
Waz if they, if they turn their attention on him. He's just going to be kiting away, like we kind of said, putting up splits and then walking out of range of Glizzo, where he really can't do too much damage. So this is what I was talking about. Method Black, they seem to have found a good strategy to deal with the turbo. They can bring it to the long game and avoid as much damage as possible. But even doing that, XRB to the moon, they found some pressure. And as the game goes later on, it's going to be very scary for Chaz. Because eventually, each team has to attack to win. And if they're attacking, the other team can attack them back and have 50% healing reduction. It just becomes a race at that point to see who is going to die first. Obviously, z healing is extending the fight for XRB to survive, and then Raikou's Frostbolt Snares are extending the fight so Chaz doesn't have to use mana to heal since his partners can just avoid damage by kiting away. Blizzard trying to make a swap here to Chaz. z trying to back him up, popping that ascendance. Looney jumping into the fight as well. Chaz opting to trade Trinket and Barkskin. A cooldown overlap with Blind on z -Pi. Chaz not wanting to... Uh, I guess go down. He's, it's likely that he'll be able to reset to his next round of cooldowns with dampening only just starting. So one thing I noticed here is Method Black, they've opted to go to Alliance instead of Horde. So they're going to be using that human racial for both Raikou and Waz instead of the Orc. What do you think about that? Uh, well, the clear benefit here is that you can play human with that Relentless, and that way you're going to have every CC, every stun is going to be a lot shorter on you, and you're still going to be able to break out of those stuns, which is the most scary thing. Getting storm bolted as a rogue by that uh, warrior with an enhance on you, that's the most, uh, I guess, scary time for you. Right there, actually, and now you see that storm bolt is not going to last too long. One faint, and you're going to be able to come out of that one. Nice kidney shot onto Blizzo, and the pressure is going to turn in your favor now the biggest thing to note here between uh, in the essential warrior versus rogue matchup that we have here is the evasion versus the die by the sword uh, that those two defensive cooldowns on the warrior and the rogue whoever has to use his first is going to be at a significant disadvantage in dampening because if for example was still has his evasion he's going to be able to use that evasion after a kidney shot and get essentially 10 seconds of free uptime where he can just T into Blizzo, and with that dampening being high, it's gonna be enough to maybe even seal the deal here because he was caught up in that Bash clone. Uh, really, really good synergy there with that Sharpen Blade from Blizzo as well as that clone from Looney. Yeah, Looney playing a lot more aggressive in this matchup, and that's kind of been the staple for his team. Looking to try and get more cheeky Cyclones on Raikou, but opting to not go all in for it. They've managed to proc Waz's failed eye absorb, so that's gonna open up potential to kill him later on as Dampany starts to ramp up. Blizzo, however, getting cycloned by Chaz. They opt to drop Frozen Orb and switch targets, going after z -Pi instead, maybe trying to get Looney to put Life Bloom on a different target or make him spend more mana by attacking multiple targets. Looney counteracts that by using Innervate, allowing all of his spells to be free. It's a great response to the spread pressure from Method Black. Nice. Uh, so right there, uh, they tried to do a uh, Hex onto Raikou, and then they wanted to Stormbolt Chaz out of form when he dispelled it. They didn't manage to get him out of form, so he's going to be able to hold on to his Bark Skin and his Trinket. Small victory there. Waz is taking a little bit of pressure, but the Iron Bark should be enough to stabilize him for now. And now Method Black are looking to launch the next attack onto uh, either Blizzo or Luni, I'm, I'm supposing. Was taking quite a bit of damage by Zipa. He might just take him down right here, right now. Faint is used, Vanish is used as well, and that is what we're talking about. Both Blizzo and Zipa at any moment can put out so much damage. Waz just has to play so careful. I mean, this entire game, he has been so careful, hiding around, doing the best he can, but still, at any moment, just so much burst. There's the triple CC coming in from Method Black. A lot of pressure over on the Blizzo right now. Cap's done nicely done by Zipa. That's going to be slowing down the follow-up Polymorph on the Looney, allowing him to connect the Iron Bark, keep Blizzo alive. Now Chaz got into the Storm Bowl. Blizzo's going to be turning his attention to Waz. Trying to get him down. All right, Chaz getting cloned up, and uh, XRB to the moon just seemed like a completely different team than Tempo Storm's Turbo. They're just walking all over Method Black. Look, look at Looney. He's just in there face casting Cyclones. We did not see him in Poike doing that whatsoever, and their momentum is insane. They're constantly put it, keeping Chaz on the back foot, forcing him to trade cooldowns. Waz is an open target now to swap to. And Blizzo just gets stalled out by this kidney shot. Chaz is looking for Cyclones now as well to recover. They need more mana deeper into Dampening to try and out attrition their opponents. Looney crossing the map though, trying to support his team. Nice Earthbind totem by z behind the pillar. Looney moves in. Waz opting to go for a stun on Looney. I guess Looney kind of knows his boundaries. He's not at, scared. At this point, so he knows that he's not likely to be the target. He almost wants them to attack him so that his partners aren't getting stunned and they can stay on target and do more damage. I really like that from Looney. He's just kind of throwing himself, trying to get an advantage of everything that he can so he can open up more opportunities for his team. 
I, like, I kind of wonder if Raikou could, could be doing more to Looney. Like, if Looney's in the middle of the map, maybe use your Frost Bolts on him, get that pressure rolling, and then if Waz can connect the Kidney Shot, they might be able to take him down with a nice Kleptomania. Although, right now, Waz is in a lot of trouble having to kite away once again. Blizzo reconnects. Waz trying to just get away. He has the Fane, he has the Evasion Vanish almost off cooldown. That's going to be sort of his get out of jail free card if he does have a trinket available and his cotton stuns. 31% dampening. Looney's mana is looking very, very healthy. Chaz will have to see. Gets caught into the cap stun. Nicely done by Zeke by. Getting the double stun out. Kitty shot on Blizzo. Bash on the Looney. Nice CC coming oh, no. in from Method Black. A lot of damage over on the Blizzo. He just went into battle stance right before this setup, which is devastating. He might even die through the absorb trinkets. He's forced to use Intimidating Shout on top of it to buy more time to stay in the fight. It's not the worst outcome possible as a critical mistake is such as that. It's not often that Blizzo is being stunned in battle stance, but if that happens again with 20% more dampening and no trinket, Blizzo, you're done. Well, right here, he actually managed to hold on to his die by the sword. So all things considered, they managed to get away fairly uh, easily from that one. And now Looney is going to be swapped to here. Yeah, Zipai throws a big heal on him. Looney just using Bark Skin, not really respecting this damage. Still has his Trinket, still has his Iron Bark. They managed to get that. So if they can do another swap like that, they will get the Trinket more than likely if Looney's not in bear form. And then maybe they can make a blind play a little bit long. They can sort of desync the trinket and the blind. It's definitely an opening for Method Black. 40% dampening. Blizzo gets topped off by Looney. There's a bash on Looney. Looks like Chaz is going for the follow-up cycle. Nicely interrupted there by Z by good support, good teamwork. And now Looney has an opportunity to get the bash cycling on Chaz. So he kind of turned it around there with the support from Z by That was nice teamwork. And, and as we can see here, I, I do want to know for any new players who are potentially just coming in for the grand final, dampening is actually going to decrease the effectiveness of healing. That's going to be that red number on your screen right there. We're currently at 40%. All right. I want to say Looney's doing a great job. Like, he's got the comp advantage. I think he should be ahead on mana in this matchup, but he's got some amazing innervates throughout this game. Looney forced a trinket. I think it's a fair trade with the vendetta from Waz, but now he will not have trinket for blind. It's likely that Method Black will try and force Blizzard's trinket soon with the next start. Now Waz is going to be still kiting. Blizzo trying to chase him down, but that is an opening, like we said, for Method Black. And now they're going to be able to get the full blind sap. Waz has Vanish available coming up very, very shortly. But Blizzo, you know, he has his Trinket, he has his Dive of the Sword. Zipai has Trinket and Astral Shift. Both of them should be able to survive this blind setup unless they don't react accordingly. Evan Bolt going to be cast out by Raikou. Kidney shot now on Blizzo. Chaz gets the bash. Looking for the Cyclone. A lot of crowd control going out. This is a scary moment for XRB. Yeah, they managed to proc the Absorb Shield from Blizzo. Another critical defense out of the way for Method Black to get a win, but Waz is finally starting to get pressured. XRB within the next minute need to get evasion from Waz or Trinket from Chaz. If they don't get those objectives, they are going to be immensely behind. This is where they need to get evasion. Do they have enough damage to do it? Sharpened Blade activated, but a clone on Zipai denies the kill. Waz will hold on to that evasion. This is most important cooldown. Let's see what happens here. Kidney shot on Looney. Doesn't look like there's going to be any fall. He managed to get in two oh, bear there's form. The there's the blind. Was he doesn't have the sap to follow it up though. We're gonna need to see a ring frost, but unfortunately they don't have it. Cyclone gonna be used by Chaz. He's on he's on stun DR as well, so Looney will get out of this crowd control. Uh, and Blizzo should survive. That was the big win condition here for Method Black. Now XRB to the moon can really push the gas here onto Waz and actually just end out this match. They get evasion, so now both Blizzo and Waz have traded their most precious defensive cooldowns with dampening ramping up higher and higher. It's going to be difficult to recover through the burst. Nice shadow step kick from Waz. Polyon on Z-Pi to deny the hybrid healing just a little bit longer, but Waz has opted to not go into melee range of Blizzo. He doesn't want Chaz to run a man. He's instead maybe trying to get a re-stealth. He does manage to. That's going to boost his damage, allow him to stun multiple times targets as well into a cyclone. Waz's awareness to kind of pull away from the fight when it's not opportunity to get restyles have been critical for his team to find victory in what I would consider a disadvantage matchup for them. Ooh, full poly, full poly. but pre-iron barked it. Oh, he's hoping this is enough damage reduction, but dampening's pretty high, and I'm not too sure. That's Vendetta as well. Blizzo could be in a lot of trouble. Kleptomania comes in. There's oh. a follow-up. Uh, Cyclone onto Looney. Nice fear keeping Blizzo alive, but Looney's gonna have to play catch up here. No Iron Bark available. This is so much damage, so much dampening. Method Black is looking so good in this situation. Offensive clone coming in from Chaz. They need to get some CC on Looney. If they can get that, they can close out this game. Cyclone onto Looney. Nicely done by Chaz. But Waz at the same done. time. Both members in a lot of trouble at this point. Dampening's so high, I don't think they're getting back to 100% anytime soon. Blizzo's trying to lead the charge, but he's so low. A clone on Z-Pi to Polly on Looney is gonna secure the kill. This looks like it was in favor of 
XRB for most of the fight, but right there at the end, Method Black, I don't know what it is, it just turned on, and now they're going to be leading the map like a turret shooting out big, big, big frost bolts. And I think Raikou would generate a lot more pressure if he did that. The big downside is that you lose a lot of those Novas if you go for that Lonely Winter. Yeah, it can be scary, but we see Raikou in these games, I mean, he's barely using his Icy Veins. It was at like 54, I don't even know what the last game was. It was very high in dampening. Yeah. They got the kill. He was sitting on Icy Veins still, so <laughs> he's saving it for a rainy day. When you have, you know, the Ice Form, he can just use that much more often without really having to worry it of being such a long period. You see a good initial attack from Method Black. They also get the sap out of the crowd control chain. Perfect job by Waz. They managed to pull the absorb trinket from Blizz out and develop even more momentum. If they can pull an iron bark along with this, this could be an opening, but they're not finding it. Looney is recovering. Chaz getting that Ursul's Vortex. If Zipai moves a little bit too far, he's gonna get sucked downstairs. He's opting to just Stand still now. No. Okay, no, he's gonna go down. It's not this too. I want to criticize like these players just a little bit. When you see a vortex like that, you don't have to run through and get sucked off the edge. You can just stand still. It feels like they waste more time. They compromise their position, and I just feel like that's a misplay from them in these situations. It's definitely something that can cost them later on in dampening, but right, right now, now it doesn't it's, matter it's, that much. It's not gonna throw out the we've game. We've seen it matter though in yeah. some of these series today. Yeah, for sure, for sure, it is. It's all about the smaller things. In WoW, it's always about the details, you know? The smallest, most minuscule thing can actually decide the game. So uh, you always want to perfect like your movement, your cooldown management, uh, and everything like that. Uh, and we're going to see another kidney shot onto Blizzo. WoW is going to be dropping up as much damage as possible. And then there it is. As soon as the kidney shot is over, he's going to walk away. Raikou is going to be slowing Blizzo as well as Zipai with that frozen orb. And then WoW is going to go get, use that waterfall there actually to get that restart, get the big garrote off, and then he's going to stun Zipai into that clone. When you garrote and cheap shot Zipai, you're going to deny him from using that grounding totem, and now uh, Zipai is going to pop all his cooldowns onto Chaz, actually. This could be scary. All right, let's see what they can get done. Chaz is going to trinket and Bark's going to have to cool down overlap. We've seen Minpoike get erased by this team, but Waz, a nice positioning there from Waz, allowing Chaz to jump up to him with that wild charge and escape to safety. They switch their attention to Raikou, however, trying to burst him down, but he's already blinked back to safety. Chaz looking for some cheeky hibernates, maybe on Zipai in Ghost Wolf, now trying to follow with clones. Blizzo pressuring him away, trying to break up that crowd control chain, but with no trinket on Blizzo. Could be an opening, no follow up though. Looney is going to recover in this situation. Yeah, one thing I noticed about Blizzo as well, he's made an adaptation. He went from Gnome instead to the Dwarf, and the Dwarf is going to be very effective against that Assassination Rogue, removing the bleeds, removing the poisons, and that can be the difference between life and death at 50% dampening for allowing your healer to top you off, is also just surviving those CC chains. So I think it's very smart. A little bit more defense coming out from Blizzo there. Unfortunately, without the Gnome, Escape Artist is going to have a little bit less uptime. Let's be real though. It's not really the roots that are stopping Blizzo. It's the consistent snare that's holding him in place more often than anything. That's what was making me wonder if maybe he should try troll instead. But <laughs> <laughs> that would it's be like not a bad idea. That's the aggressive pick. And in this meta, I don't know if you make the aggressive pick or the defensive pick. And obviously, the dwarf is the most defense you can get. I can tell you what he used to sign it on. In that <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's no question yeah. about that. It's one of the things about uh, the European region that we've seen so far and we've consistently seen from them. That they're not afraid to bring the game long. They, they play to survive. Well, you know what it comes down to? We have certain teams that just play the most aggressive possible. Teams like making a movie. Where is making a movie right now? They're, they're at home watching. Hello, Ratapai, if you, if you can hear me. What's up, bro? I mean, Rafa and, you know, it, well, yeah, Reformed as well, but even Reformed. Reformed was a team that made it into the Spring Finals on a tiebreaker. They were getting farmed by everybody. Prior to that, they managed to sneak in on a tiebreaker, and then they win a tournament and oh. qualify for BlizzCon. Even now, they wouldn't be qualifying for BlizzCon uh, if we had, let's say, four slots, and they hadn't won that tournament. So we have some really aggressive teams. The problem is when they go up against some of these really, really defensive teams, teams like Method Triforce in the past or XRB, it's usually like hitting a brick wall. Well, yeah, I mean, when you're playing RMP, like making a movie, as a discipline priest, you just run out of steam yep. too quickly. I mean, yep. when you play against a defensive roster like this, with the trades, with the trinkets, you just can't get those kills we normally see from them. So we'll have to see if that continues to be a factor as these tournaments go on. The players just see the tools that are in front of them and yep. assess what the best ones are. And to be frank, the defensive options appear to be incredibly strong. And we are kind of seeing that uh, really take form here in how the Grand Finals are playing and overall how the tournament has played. The, the players are just 
trying to assess what that best play is, what the right way to win is, and it seems like a high percentage play to equip two tank trinkets right now. Yeah, I mean, that's why everybody's doing it. <laughs> hey, one quick thing that I noticed here uh, on Waz spec in the last game, as well as this one, is that he is not playing Smoke Bomb anymore. He feels as if um, trying to do that Smoke Bomb for someone's trinket and blind for someone else's trinket and then set up a Vendetta kill, uh, it's too hard to, to do when there are those tank trinkets in play in addition to everything else, so he's going to be going, uh, opting for a little bit more damage instead of that smoke bomb. Yeah, could be picking up something like creeping venom and extra poison he gets where when Blizzo and Zephyr are running towards him, they're taking additional damage. So definitely not a bad option in a match like this. And when he caught into a polymorph, Blizzo on 50%. Dampening's kicked in now. Ray of Frost being charged or tunneled out by Raikou, but Blizzo's gonna survive. They did manage to pull out the proc trinket, but that's really not that big of a victory. No, I mean, at this point in dampening, it might be. They could get a trinket now with the next attempt, get the trinket proc again, and then get maybe execute for a win. At that point, we'll probably be roughly at 20, 30% dampening. It's likely to hit that critical mass around 40. Both these teams are of such high caliber, so focused on defense and avoiding a fight rather than taking it, that it's likely that we get to the 50, 60 mark in this matchup. But Waz getting bursted down by Zipai, almost getting caught and killed in that Sunder. Looney trying to make a jump, but Vortex catches him. <laughs> Nice job by Chaz. Yeah, very nicely done. His vortexes have been on point in this game. Bash now onto Waz. He's playing relentless, so these stuns aren't going to be that effective. I like that change coming in from Method Block. They're still going to have that human racial get out of stuns. And then in addition to that, they have the reduction on those stuns from um, the relentless uh, honor talent. All right, Blizzo trying to lead the charge for his team right now with Avatar rolling. He's going to be doing a huge increased amount of damage towards Waz going into battle stance. Looks like Method Black were trying to set up a swap on Looney. They managed to pull his bark skin. Why is this a big deal? Well, now if they blind him, Looney has to take into consideration if I trinket, then I can get swapped to it with no trinket and no bark skin. So let's see if Waz manages to set that potential up. Chaz getting swapped to in the meantime by XRB. So they're trying to lead the charge, forcing bark skin from him. Now they're looking to force his trinket within the next attempt to potentially kill him deeper and dampening. Yeah, Raku is still just kiting away, building up his damage, doing a frost mage things in this matchup. Nice cyclone on Zipai. Those are getting corroded up. Was all by himself on the other side of the map. Maybe extra beat of the moon might be able to capitalize on this. You can see Blizzo's trying to chop him up on that warrior, trying to get that pressure rolling. Ooh. Good little vortex there by Looney into a bash. Waz could be in trouble, but no Chaz is there to get those heals up. He will be able to survive. Yeah, and that was the sharpened blade as well. So Waz could still be okay. They get the they pull out the tank trinket from Waz. So not entirely uh, a bad situation here for XRB. And Raikou has all of his damage ready. They have everything ready in their arsenal to really make a big push. But they are waiting a little bit more for dampening Zipai is going to activate all of his offensive cooldowns, gets blinded on it as well. Waz just playing defense right now. He wants to extend the game to that 50%-ish dampening mark where we really start seeing people get chunked down. Well, he doesn't want to trade out his Vanish or his Evasion. Those are his lifelines in this matchup, so he's been using blind so, defensively quite a bit. Is blind like Call a Friend then? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Those are his three lifelines. So using that on z making him make it a difficult decision. You know, does he want to be aggressive with those offensive cooldowns? Does he want to have to trade out his trinket? And is it going to be even worth it? Is he going to be able to get enough pressure to force those cooldowns? Uh, he did trade out his trinket, I believe. So now he doesn't have that available. Waz gets a re-stealth, gets the sap on Blizzo. He's going to be opening up on a Blizzo Poison Bomb Prox. Bleeds up on z as well. So Method Black looking for a little bit of pressure here. Chaz in a good position to run away. Kite Luna he wants to get aggressive as well. He's going to be pushing in, maybe looking for a Cyclone, but doesn't have the Bash available. He used that on Waz, and now Chaz can safely move in, get the Bash clone on Looney. Blizzo still uh, running down just a little bit, but he does have some hots from Looney. It's really important that they, that Method Black does what they just did right there, where uh, Raikou shipping up z every single time Looney, uh, sorry, Chaz is going for the Bash onto Looney, because otherwise z will just drop that Grounding Totem, even if Looney is bashed behind that pillar, and that Grounding Totem will soak up the Cyclone, and then Looney has a chance to exit that Bash and then Bash up the Chaz and clone him instead, so... Um, Always important to make sure that Zipai is cross CC'd and Waz gonna be taking his sweet time with that Vanish uh, restealth and uh, wait for his stun DRs again before he launches the next attack onto Blizzard. Look at this nice defensive shadow step from Waz. 
Starting up Blizzo, hitting him while he can't attack back and then immediately avoiding him so he can't do anything in this matchup. And this ultra defense kiting snare based composition from the Frost Mage is looking to be now potentially untouchable for XRB to the moon. They need to try and force the issue. Maybe gunning down Chaz is their only hope. They're trying to. He ducks down below trying to bait them out of line of sight of Looney. They're not falling for that, but they ultimately get crowd controlled instead as Method Black continue to stall. There are no clear openings for them to find victory. Now at 32% dampening, it would be a good time for them to start forcing it, getting trinkets from Looney or Blizzo as their first priority. Yeah, Blizzo in battle stance. He uses the whirlwind, getting out some pressure on Waz, but now he's caught into the kidney shot. Bash on Looney. Blizzo looking to shut down the Cyclone. Coming in from Chaz, manages to do so with the Storm Bolt with a little bit of pressure. He's gonna use the Avatar as well to empower his damage, but he's just getting kited. He just snared up, kited, can't reach his target. Look at Waz, look at Chaz, look at Raikou. They're just abusing these Frost Mage snares to really kite, create distance, and make it really difficult for Z-Fi and Blizzard to get on target. Yeah, I mean, they're falling behind on mana, though, and Waz still has evasion. He's got Vanish coming up, he's got Vendetta. Let's see what they decide to do with this. Ooh, Chaz? Chaz is really getting pressured. He's, he pre bear from the stun. So he's going to absorb a lot of damage with that. Trade Spark Skin anyway, just to make sure he's safe at 37% dampening. You don't want to risk it. Raikou getting Storm Bolted. Blizzo marching towards him. Now blinking away charge to follow up. Does Raikou have another blink? It does seem to be the case. Waz is a bit reluctant to stand next to Blizzo. He's just opting to kite away. z getting polyed up top. Raikou doing his best to keep one target polyed, one target snared the entire game to get as deep into dampening as possible so he can remove the effectiveness of that hybrid healing. It just looks like Blizzo is tired of chasing Waz while he's being slowed by Raikou, so now he wanted to turn his attention to Raikou, but uh, not really managing to amount to much there, and they are going to have to somehow connect the home to either Waz or Chaz, but the way Chaz and Waz are just playing it, uh, with how much they're abusing these frost missiles, you can see it right there again, uh, Raikou's just pulling up z slowing Blizzo, cheaping Blizzo, slowing z and every single time Waz is just resetting, waiting for that kidney, and then he goes back in and rinse and repeat, and as long as they keep playing like this, there isn't really any good opening for this turbo, and it, it, it's almost as if the RMD looks a bit favored in this matchup, honestly. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Method Black, but the way they're playing it, there's just no pressure to be generated for XRP to the moon. Blizzard actually used the stone form there as well on that Vendetta, so not going to have that available a little bit later on. But you can see Raikou and Chaz are always split up. All three members are split up, so they always have that lifeline for Waz to shadow step away, Chaz to get away as well. Caught into the bear form with the Storm Bolt. A little bit of pressure coming in for XRB to the moon, but Chaz uses the bark in, should be able to cut away. Raikou once again getting snares up, kidney shot defensively used on Zephi. Method Black, they know if they can just live long enough, those snares are so effective at reducing XRB's ability to do damage that eventually they will just win. I will say, though, Blizzard's change to Dwarf, I think, paid its weight in gold. He's removed a lot of kill opportunities on himself simply with that extra racial, and now potentially swinging the momentum in their favor. They forced evasion before Die by the Sword. This is a critical moment for XRB to the moon. If they can press the issue and stay on target, Waz is in trouble. Yep, Waz kiting away, gets caught into that stun, but Shadow Steps away once again, allowing Chaz an opportunity to top him off. But if you look, one win condition for XRB to the moon is Chaz, his mana is not looking that great. So somehow, some way, XRB to the moon still ahead on mana. And if they can prevent Chaz from drinking, that is a way for them to win. But at 51% dampening, there's not that much time left. All right, Waz, what are you going to do? You need to make something happen here soon. Dampening's ramping up, and Chaz is running out of time. They're still just kiting, trying to pull Blizzo into a bad position, but XRB to the Moon aren't falling for any baits. They're not overusing any cooldowns. They're just slowly whittling down their opponents, switching now over to Chaz, forcing him to trade out Barkskin. He's trying to kite. Gets sundered on his dash. Really well timed there by z -Pi, making it awkward for Chaz, but here comes another attempt on Blizzo's life. With this deep of dampening, how will they respond? Looney's being greedy they're not trading any cooldowns this is a risky decision at 55 percent reduced healing ray of frost bully child shadow step kick blizzo dipping low still being greedy at this point trades the dwarf racial removing the bleeds now proccing that tank trinket absorb as well greed is good the longer they can hold on to that the more likely they can use it to stay aggressive yeah, Blizzo's still on 50%. The Looney just can't top him off, even with the Iron Bark committed. Kidney shot on Blizzo. Waz Raikou still really tearing in. Chaz almost top or completely tapped on mana. Looks for a Cyclone, doesn't manage to find it. Zipai uses the grounding totem. Very nicely done. Waz has to kite away. He needs to get away. 
if uh, Zipai and Blizzard can have up time on him, he will fall very, very quickly. Needs to wait for that evasion. Swap now on to Raikou. Get, they get the first ice block, so Raikou's going to have one more available, but maybe that's a target that XRB to the Moon can take down. All right, Chaz, you've got nothing left. You just traded out your trinket. No mana, what are you going to do? Game number one looked confident for them, and this game looked confident up to this point as well, but there's just no openings. Now that Blizzo has changed to Dwarf, he's able to survive another setup and elongate the match just to the point where Chaz runs out of mana. Looney makes a move, goes for a bash on Chaz. Waz, though, fortunately, has evasion. He's trying to hold on to it. Wow. Chaz steps back to Chaz behind the pillar. Blizzo goes for a blade storm, cleaving down multiple targets. z marching forward. He's going after Waz. Chaz has to heal two members, and he's got no mana. I don't think that math checks out. How much longer can they stay in this? Blizzard gets kidney shot. Is he just going to trinket and trade? Gets cloned at low health. Definitely doesn't need to in this position. Raikou kiting Z-Pi. Chaz doing everything in his power maybe to sneak away and drink, but I think they're running out of time. Yeah, grow cheap shot over on the Blizzard was still just trying to avoid damage, but Chaz, he's in so much trouble. z -Pi's all over him. Can he take him down? Iron Bar committed onto Chaz. Still trying to get away. 65% dampening. A new record has been set, and Waz just barely holding on. z -Pi just tapped targeting over to him might be able to take him down Chaz just has nothing left in the tank no mana there's a cyclone on Zipai he trinkets out Waz ultimately falls Chaz gets taken down as well and that was I, I believe 67 percent down oh. I don't think we've ever seen that, that before that answers our question for whether or not SSDS and Dilly should change to dwarf in the NA region it's work that it can get done but will it be enough for XRB to take another one here and get the upper hand in our grand final We'll have to see Waz in stealth. He's moving in. Now, in the last game, it didn't end till 67% dampening, so we can be pretty confident that this could be a long one. Uh, maybe we've seen Blizzo and Zipai get big swaps over onto Chaz, and you know, they don't respond accordingly. You know, they do have a lot of burst. The real strength here is the healers. They just heal for a lot, so it takes a little while, but if you can prevent all of that healing, maybe you can get a kill a little bit earlier on. Blizzo's going to get opened up onto by Raikou, and Waz Vendetta gets popped immediately. They're not afraid to just pull the trigger with those cooldowns, trying to pull out something, but with Looney not in crowd control, it is almost a joke for him to heal through this. I mean... It's, I feel like outside of a massive mistake, you have such a buffer to help protect yourself with the tank absorb trinkets, the heal over times, the hybrid healing, the kiting that you have to mess up pretty bigly or big to die this early on in this matchup. I mean, maybe if they were running different healers or maybe if it was a different comp, it would be slightly faster. But with you, both of these comps maximized for defense. Are you firing shots at me, Poike, again? <laughs> Because like, just, honestly, just stop leave, it. Just leave him alone, dude. Leave him alone. First the forty percent thing, and now like this is too much. Sid. I yeah. just Looney's caught into the sheep. Blizzo trinkets out, and it seems like Blizzo. He even though he wasn't in trouble at all, he's not afraid to just throw it. What is the cooldown on stone form? Do you guys know what it is? Uh, two, two minutes. minutes. Okay. Yeah, and it shares thirty seconds with your trinket. Yeah, it seems like Blizzo is just really not afraid to just trade stone form for Vendetta, just a hundred percent of the time as often as he can, because the first time he they used it, he was actually completely fine. So yeah, he's just trying to line those up, basically on script, yep, which we, we've seen Turbo teams do before. Yeah, it's the EU way. You, <laughs> it's the script. You, yeah. you never go off script. It doesn't matter. Well, it makes sense. It, it, it means your full HP. You still, you still press it. Well, the thing is, it's like then you always have an answer. You know what I mean? you always have an answer for their cooldowns, and that really is the window that Method Black will be able to close out the game earlier than, you know, Deep Deep Dampening, which we've seen so often. Labash over on the Chaz, he responds with the uh, Bark Skin. Now, Blizzo really not able to get, connect too much there. Got caught into a kidney. Waz seems to always have those defensive kidneys, but Chaz is still in a decent amount of trouble. You see Waz just on the side of the pillar playing defense for his team. He gets the re-stealth, gets the cheap shot on Zipai. Raikou lands the polymorph, and now Chaz is going to be completely fine. And that's one of the things about Method Black. Waz and Raikou, they always realize the situation. I don't know if it's Chaz communicating to them, I'm in so much trouble or what, but they're always ready to help him out. Um, Zipai, oh no, never mind. He's not. I, th I thought for a second that he was playing the, uh, not, not the Ascendance, but he is actually playing that, that talent. So, not too much is going to change here in terms of specs. Uh, Raikou is going to be going to his default spec as well. You're not going to see any crazy shenanigans with the Tunnel of Ice or anything like that. And the only real change here is that Zipai and Blizzo seem to be targeting Raikou a little bit more than they have been in the previous games, which I think is a welcome change. You can pressure right here a little bit more and do a little bit uh, split strategies. Yeah, honestly, I can't really blame Raikou for not changing his spec. It could potentially be risky. Like, if you change your spec to a heavy Frostbolt damage build, then all of a sudden you get 
tunnel down, that means in dampening you don't have that same sort of instant burst that has been securing the kill. So that definitely could be a risky option for Raikou. Uh, obviously not wanting to take that risk. I kind of see what, where you're coming from there, but at the same time, on a map as large as this, I feel like if XRB invests too much chasing Raikou, I mean, he's still going to have the Cone of Cold, Burst of Cold potentially, and all of these uh, snares still at his disposal. So I feel like while that is a risk, I also think that the risk is kind of worth the reward because if they don't prioritize him as a target, make him the threat, then sense. he can just actually generate so much pressure on his own. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, Waz took a little bit of burst there, but got topped off by Chaz. You can see Looney and Chaz both basically 100% mana, so no one really has a clear mana advantage at this point in the game. Uh, Blizzo can be doing a little damage to Waz, but on this large map, you can see Chaz and Raikou, they always just have so much space to walk away from z and Blizzo, so unfortunately, XRB, they're forced to go on the Rogue. He's kiting away as well, and this is what happens. Basically, you're either waiting for Chaz to go oom, or you're waiting for a point in the game where Chaz can't just get carried by the hots, and he actually has to cast those regrows. When he's casting regrows, he doesn't get to continuously move away, and that's when Blizzo and z can really tear in. They can get on top of Chaz, they can continue to do damage, but at this point, when everyone can just survive off instant cast, he's always able to just constantly move away from z and Blizzo. Yeah, I mean, for this first five minutes, it's basically Method Black only prerogative to avoid damage, maintain Chaz's mana as high as possible so that when they move into dampening, they can try and get some setups roughly four or five, I think, in a row. They have to nail four or five setups perfectly in a row to be able to kill Blizzo while still not dying in between. So and that's a maybe. It's, it's a tall order to ask. And the thing is, the dwarf racial makes it maybe six setups in a row. That's a lot of setups in a row, Sid. They just run out of time. Yeah, I mean, it, it's definitely very difficult to, for them to secure a kill. We haven't really seen this match end earlier than 50% dampening when, you know, the, the Druid's healing is really, really taxed. Frozen Orb gets dropped out by Raikou, a little bit of pressure, but I like, can't help but feel that it's almost like a defensive Frozen Orb. He just wants to keep them snared so he can kite away, cast out the Blizzard to reset the Frozen Orb. Everyone's just line of sighting. Looney in this matchup has been playing a lot less aggressive than we've seen in the past. He's not playing the Feral Affinity, I believe. doesn't want to, you know, get on top of them. Um, I, actually, I actually don't know why, because I really don't think Looney can die in this matchup. Yeah, but it, it's something I've noticed, is like Looney has just decided to not play offense. It was working so well for them against Temple Storm. I really don't see what is the difference. If z and Blizzard are just getting kited the whole game and slowed, then Looney can do whatever he wants. He may as well go in and assist with a couple of extra stuns outside of that storm bolt and then they can use the storm bolt on different targets and generate more pressure overall yeah and uh blizzo he's going to be caught into the stun and cyclone once again and it seems like the tactic for method black is you know they're doing a little damage here it's mostly just raikou but everyone is just running they're using the outskirts of the map they want to bring it to dampening once dampening kicks in zipa is going to lose the advantage of having that additional off healing but uh, Raikou's still going to have that advantage of having those very heavy snares that prevents the warrior and that enhancement shaman damage. And that is why it's working out for them uh, as the game goes on longer. Do you think Method Black changed their comp at any point? I, I, I just, I don't know I, what else they could play. Yeah, that's the thing. To what? They, there's, in my mind, I don't see anything that they can play that would be better than this. All right, Blizzo lockdown. <laughs> In a kidney shot, but Waz is already kiting away. Zipa's actually soloing Chaz with some decent pressure right now. He's running the static cling uh, honor talent, so the more storm strikes he gets in a row, he does 15% more damage to that target, but you can reset it by kiting away just as Chaz did. So all the momentum that Zipa had basically lost as he's crowd controlled in that kidney shot. Good lockdown from Waz and Raikou playing their best to their win condition, which is likely one-shotting Blizzo really, really deep into dampening when Zipai can't support him any longer and the Hots don't do too much when they're reduced 56%. And I mean, they're doing a great job of it. Chaz has maintained his mana now at 20% dampening. We've seen in previous series where he was 20% or even worse. Well, I mean, I think what Method Black has learned is it's almost futile to do these goes. I mean, right now, they're going to do a big setup on the Z-Pi. He gets cloned. They use a smoke bomb. That was good. Not too bad. 20% dampening. But before that, 
what's the point of taking damage? It really, it doesn't seem like you can really land a kill unless, like you said, you get six perfect setups in a row. So there's no reason to have Chaz tax his mana early on because later on in dampening, it's not going to be possible for him to drink. So I think Method Black, they just don't want to fall behind early on so they can still have that advantage as the game moves forward into deeper dampening. All right, looks like they're changing up their tactics a little bit, going after Z-Pi and actually clutching him pretty low on health. If that happened 20% more into dampening, he might just be dead. That was a bit of a lack of a reaction from Z-Pi. That was Vendetta. Now he's going to trade Astral Shift. That's a very slow reaction from Z-Pi. You can tell that he's not used to being the target as he hasn't really been targeted for most of this series, and that could be an opening basically for Method Black moving forward. Yeah. yeah, maybe that's what they need to do, actually. Switch up their strategy a, a bit, make Blizzo feel like he can be in battle stance a little bit more often, and then swap back to him. Uh, pressure z -Pi a little bit more than they have been. There's only really the astral shift that makes z -Pi super tanky. Outside of that, he is going to be taking uh, a significant amount more damage than Blizzo. Yeah, Blizzle leaps over, trying to get more damage on Raikou, but still just kiting away, buying as much time as possible. You can see z -Pi out of frustration, maybe just hitting the water elemental wants to get some damage out. If he can kill that pet off, then Raikou's not going to have that available. But like I said, it's just such a short cooldown that it really is not that big of a deal as a Frostmate if your pet dies like that, because you can get it back up relatively easily. Uh, Zipai caught into the kidney. Uh, you can see Looney, he doesn't have a trinket for another 15 seconds. There might be an opportunity for Method Black to push in, get some crowd control, try to get something rolling, but... I think we're going to see a big setup on this chest here. Oh, and he pre-bears it. Beautifully done there. Reading that play, Hex uh, going to be hitting Raikou. And Chaz is going to be weathering that storm without using any cooldown whatsoever. Chaz now going to be completely safe for the next minute. Earliest on the next bash is when he's going to be ha uh, having to use either of his defensive CDs. So now it's Method Black's turn to find a win condition here, to find some damage. Actually, they're just going to be brute forcing it on Chaz here. He's going to be sitting in that bear form, uh, and then he's going to be charging away. Raikou is going to apply those slows, and that should be enough to uh, let Chaz get away. But he had to use his bark skin there in that exchange. So now dampening is starting to settle in a little bit uh, for XRP to the moon. Mana is pretty much tied up between the healers. Then it's up to Method Black to find something here onto Blizzo or onto z -Pi. It seems like they have switched their strategy up now to focus z -Pi and Sheep Blizzo a little bit more. And we'll see if that pays out. Yeah, we'll have to see. It gets reflected on Raikou, so a little bit of a backfire there. But I think Method Black, one thing they have done a good job of is, you know, Waz, he has all his defensive cooldowns now. So as, you know, going into deep dampening, he's going to have all those tools to make those exchanges we were talking about where they are sort of cooldown trading in order to land a kill, which is something we didn't see in the previous games. Waz was a little bit more aggressive, so he had to trade out the evasion and the vanish, you know, for those blind plays. And then it becomes a little bit scarier for him when we get to 40, 50 percent dampening. Another thing I think is kind of interesting is Waz doesn't always play Smoke Bomb. He's only been playing it on the biggest maps. On the small maps, I guess he doesn't see much value in it as his healer can easily get inside of it with the close quarters distance. But on such a large map, Looney is likely to be far away and Smoke Bomb gets a lot more value. It's the only thing I really see changing game to game for Waz. We see Chaz trying to set up some crowd control, but he's not able to follow it up. There's Smoke Bomb, but no stun. Well, it was actually went for uh, a big play there. He dropped the smoke bomb, tried to deny combat from Looney, used the Vanish to look for a sap, but unfortunately Looney was in combat from a Tranquility, I believe. So unfortunately that play not going to pay off for Waz there. He actually used his Vanish, which is which is a well, big defensive cooldown. And he needs smoke bomb to get trinkets. I, I don't think it was worth throwing it away to make a flashy play. Like, everybody is so tanky in this meta that even if you did get that flashy play, it's not guaranteed to win. It's better to go for the straight and narrow path, just go through crowd control. Nice whoa, counter whoa, whoa, spell, Raikou in trouble. He's going to be ice blocking, and momentum is swinging heavily in favor now for XRB. Yeah, you can see uh, Zipai with that ascendance. He basically starts doing range damage, and he took down Raikou quite easily, forcing him into the first ice block. Raikou is going to be trading out the cold snap, but Raikou could be a pressure point once again, like we said. Frost may just have very long defensive cooldowns. They have two ice blocks. Once you get rid of those, it takes a very long time for that to come off of cooldown. So it could be an option, but looks like they want Waz and they want him bad. Evasion, faint, vanish, all gone for Waz. It's the only thing keeping him alive. Chaz doesn't have the iron bark. Kidney shot on Zipai. Pauly on Blizzo. They're trying to take him down, but Waz, he's just going to be such a vulnerable target from this point forward. And uh, there's no openings. Everybody has a trinket on the side of XRB. 
Waz doesn't have any defensive cooldowns to survive. No smoke bomb opportunity. They're going to have to kite for another 20% dampening if they want to try and find a window of opportunity. I don't know if they'll last that long. Jazz is trying to sit down for a drink. Looney moves into the knife, but he did get some mana for a significant lead. But even with that mana, I don't think he can expend enough to heal through 50% dampening. Waz needs to kite. Riker doing a good job backing Waz up with that Cone of Cold. Now resurrecting that Water Elemental and avoiding the fight. Waz gets a re-stealth. As they're just trying to play Max. Looney jumps into the fight to go for a bash. Chaz trinkets that. That's an opening now for XRB. No trinket on the healer and no evasion for Waz. Blizzo is not playing Stormbolt anymore. He's playing double time this this time around. He is sick of getting kited here. Uh, we just saw him use that double charge right there. And it's, it's giving him a lot more uptime. I really like that swap in talents, actually. Because the stuns aren't doing too much with these human relentless guys. So double time giving him all that extra uptime with those Frostmage snares. He's going to be more valuable here, for sure. Yeah, look at Looney. He sits down. He gets a drink. He's full mana. 55% dampening. He's going in with a full tank. Kidney shot on Blizzo. Does Looney have the healing? Uses the Iron Bark. Not a bad choice. There's a cheap shot on Looney. Chaz moving in for a bash and a cyclone. There's the bash. Can Raikou get the polymorph? Can Chaz get the cyclone? There's the cyclone. Blizzo still in some trouble. The trinket does frock. Still has a die by the sword. Doesn't want to be too greedy at this point. Activates the stone form. That's it's going to be removing all of those bleeds once again. Very effective trade into that vendetta. All right, Waz has smoke bomb in 10 seconds. Blizzo actually doesn't have trinket because of the dwarf racial. If he if he sees that opening, he's got eh, a 10 second window. If Blizzo splits up too far from his team, and it's not really the case. Looney's pushing up with them. He sees that they could go for it. Waz goes for the kidney shot. They drop the smoke bomb. One four seconds away from his trinket, he manages to survive. Activates those wrappings for an extra shield on himself to survive and was even able to be greedy and not trade Die by the Sword. It's a risky move, but if he can keep Die by the Sword, it allows him to use it to stay aggressive. Ray of Frost, a lot of damage potentially. Blizzo denies it, trades that. That was a very peculiar Die by the Sword. Wazza wasn't even there. I mean, he's trying to preempt a kidney shot, but nice shadow step to get behind it. Blizzo forced to trinket, and suddenly Blizzo is the one on the he back foot. He is in so much trouble. Nothing left for them. 63% dampening. If Raikou can get some Frost bolts off, get an Ebon bolt off. He has Banes. He has a lot of damage available to Flurry Brock. You can just see how powerful Resto Druid healing is. Look at Blizzo's HP. It's going up despite 64% dampening. Waz moving in though, he's in stealth. What kind of play can he make? All right, Waz, what are you gonna do? You've got a win condition. He's setting his team up. Triple crowd control. Uh -oh. Perfect moves from Method Black. Looking to KO Blizzo. They've been losing this entire game, but suddenly in the final seconds, look to reverse it. Blizzo denies for a few more seconds with a nice intimidating shout. He leaps back to safety. They got the perfect setup, but he's still hanging on. Waz now getting counter pressure. He overextended. Trinkets out of the bash. Could potentially be a cross kill, but Waz snags a kick. Raku blinks in. He's fed up. He's trying to finish this. Zipai tries to hex him, but he gets Polly first. Looney can't heal anymore. We're at the most amount of damage. Dampening ever in history. Not even get a 70%. Another triple crowd control setup. Z5 triggers to try and save the day. They're trying to pressure Chaz so he can't go for clones, but I don't think it's going to matter. The damage is just swinging so far in favor of Method Black. As Blizzard still forms on 1%, but it's not enough. He will be falling. z is still trying to carry the charge. Dampening is still very high. Chaz is going to iron bark himself. As long as Raikou gets a polymorph for a stun here, Chaz should survive. There's the Cyclone that will deny the kill. and. That looked one-sided for so long, and then suddenly out of nowhere, Method Black decided to say... Oh, one shots. Swift, <laughs> Swift, Swifty one-shots are definitely... The, th those are the fun ones. I, honestly, when I'm watching these games, I'm missing Officer Bean on the prop pally. Like, <laughs> <laughs> these are just some long games, but you know what? There's they should call it Bean's Veiled Eye. Here, here's the thing. <laughs> <laughs> these, teams, these teams have Cold to stay... bandage. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Gentlemen, please. I was gonna say these teams they still need to stay focused. These these games are insanely long. They've been playing all day and they can't mess up because there's still a decent damage opportunity for Blizzo and Zipai to one shot. We're not even yeah. playing and fifty percent of us at the well, desk just broke there. So I don't know. Well if we take a page out of Mimpoika's book, then yeah. Anyone can fall at any point in this matchup, but as long as they stay focused and they don't, you know, uh, get exhausted from having to play at such a high level for so long, 
then we shouldn't really see it. it it's kind of a one-off. And to be honest, that game in particular was just such a great vortex coming out of Looney. And look, um, this is exactly what Ven alluded to, though. Here, Zico, we can see Raikou already going for the around the outside type of play style. <laughs> we're we're going to see a little bit. Corner. It, it, it's like during the uh, summer festival when you, you do the fire tether and just dance around. <laughs> it's literally what's going to happen here for the entire matchup. You have to do it. Summer came early today. <laughs> Get the reputation buff. Go around the carousel. <laughs> do you get a damage buff from the fire carousel? festival? Uh, well, carousel's the, the rep one. Buff? Yeah, yeah carousel's the rep buff. The the ten percent rep buff, right? And then the fire festival. I think you get a fifteen percent experience buff. That's oh, what I thought. Something it was. like that. Ten yeah. or fifteen percent. It's wonderful. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. they're getting no buff they're, besides dampening. That's the only <laughs> buff they're going for right but now. <laughs> you can see the route they're taking, right? They're yeah. just running around they, the circle. They know. They know. Were they listening? I don't know. Well, that's, that's well, we'll we'll see in the next one if they unequip Colo's ritual bandages and beans <laughs> veiled eye, and then then play the healing trinket that you just told them to play. <laughs> Oh, man. And guys, keep in mind, too, we are going to be seeing the NA matches after this. And uh, the NA matches could have a completely different meta. Like, uh, oh, yeah. they could run completely different trinkets. They can run completely different setups. We already are pretty confident they're going to run completely different comps. We have a Holy Paladin still in the North American to uh, tournament. Uh, you the know, last hope. Bl bless his soul. Uh, born good. The, the last final crusader. crusader. The final crusader, that's right. Yeah, or, no, is it the crusader. last crusader? Which is the, which is I the mean, better can, one of those? You made it. it. He's, He's wearing the, the final trinket. Yeah. Final sounds better, yeah. Final? Yeah. It's the final He's not, is he really crusader. part of the light? He's still wearing a tank trigger. He's still in the He's dark part of the light. Dude, his mana bar runs out. All right, yeah. like, it, it definitely. He, he plays jungle, too. Right? <laughs> he was supposed to fight against the darkness. <laughs> you were the chosen one. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Looney's setting up some plays here with a bash on Chaz. Going for a cycle. Watson's Whoa. in trouble. Okay. No, it's Chaz fine. He's, He's fine. It's fine. He's fine. Oh, and and there's the shadow up. step. Yeah, there it is. Abusing that map. So they are actually, Metal Black are actually using this map pretty much to its full potential here. You can see Raikou is doing what Enrique was saying, running around the bottom side of that map, up on the bridge, down on the other side, and around the corner. And then there <laughs> it is. Veen's veiled, Beans veiled eye right there. <laughs> when you fall under 40% HP, that's going to be proccing, uh, giving you a 60,000 absorb shield, which is going to uh, let you survive more. More often than not, Raikou oh. getting that big polymorph. And we're actually going to see a setup here onto Z, but there's a Kleptomania, the Vendetta, Toxic Blade, big, big damage. Chaz going to follow that up with some more crime control. And look at Chaz positioning right there, avoiding the wind shear of Z by, by going behind there. You always want a line of sight, potential kicks when you're going for those follow up CCs. So pay attention to that, how these pro players are positioning when they're landing their CC. Because once we get into dampening, players like that are what's going to end the game. That was one of the first mistakes I've seen Looney make today, getting polymorphed out of thin air, and maybe he's starting to crack a bit. I mean, there's still a lot of games to go in this series. You make a mistake like that at 40% dampening, you lose. There's no there's no second chances at that point, so he gets away with it here at the start of the game, but he needs to make sure that he keeps it together moving into the late game. Well, here's the, the, here's the hard thing about this matchup for XRB to the Moon is for so long in the game, Method Black is basically... I mean, they're essentially doing nothing. They're just snaring them and running away, waiting till dampening. So when they do decide to pull the trigger oh, just Looney. randomly, that's when Looney can get Polymorph like we saw, and that's an opportunity for Method Black to kind of just surprise attack, you know? <laughs> so what, what do you guys think of Looney's transmog? I don't think... I do want to say right I, now, I, Beans I, in chat, just going, my eye is strong. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Rich reading the chat mid-cast. Well, <laughs> make sure everyone's having a good time. <laughs> oh, that's that's fair. That's fair. So uh, there we'll it see. is. There it is. Or dampening. And oh, there's the orger as well. He's, he's, Wait, what did he say? I didn't hear what he said. Yeah, he said something. Anyways, he said something. Katie shot on Looney. Big burst, actually. Common Storm connects. What? That's going to be the bark skin as the, well. The Veil Dash should have procced on Looney there. He Is might, he not wearing it? He's not uh -oh. wearing it. Oh, oh that's an opening. They, they found their vulnerability Ooh, now. He found the crack. But Chaz, armor. in the same uh, in the same breath, he's going to be taking a little bit of damage, activating the bark skin, deflecting these attacks. And this is what uh, Method Black needs to avoid. They can't be up here on this bridge. They need to be running away to avoid this damage. Looney gets caught into the blind. This is a bait. They want to get Looney's trinket. 
He's not going to trinket. He almost never does. But now the polymorph, now it's a very difficult oh, decision Looney. for him. Well, he Looney. trinkets out. He has no bar skin and no trinket. Well, the thing is, Blast com committed his vendetta when True. he realized that Looney wasn't going to trinket. And that's when Looney realized that he has to trinket. So, uh, all in all, waiting for uh, the follow-up CC and for the damage to be committed is the right Ooh, call here. Yes. And Chaz? Nice vortex. Chaz is forced to trinket now as well. This close quarter maps is definitely stressing the healers out a little bit more than usual. They get swapped too much easier on this map, and that's why XRB to the Moon picked it. It's still a double edged sword because they can switch to Looney as well, but it's, I would say, Chaz is much more vulnerable. Looney's jumping into the fight. What's he trying to do? So we got something on Chaz. He's trying to sneak out. Well, he is getting into the fight. Calm down. Okay, Looney's making his way over. So I actually do want to, I, I just got confirmation from production because I did want to ask because we noticed that Looney wasn't running the, the Veiled Eye Trinket. <laughs> he's actually running the trinket that Super T's had mentioned. He's ru <laughs> he's running, yes. He's running the heel trinket. Yeah, he's Are running that heel trinket. So, so that's actually what he's opted into wearing. So very interesting to see that that has already kind of arrived in the meta as well. There yeah. is some room for variance, right? It is still a defensive trinket, which does still seem to be in the meta, and we might see more of that. We'll have to see how it actually does fare. So keep your eyes on Looney here and see what he's able to do, folks. But everybody getting grouped up and chunked down just a little bit. We're gonna see all of the icicles falling from the sky with Raikou's Blizzard, but ultimately here we can see reset potential very much still in the air. Yeah, and uh, I think one of the interesting things uh, on the topic of those trinkets is that we are going to see those tank trinkets and then maybe those tank trinkets get nerfed and we'll see those healer trinkets come in and then if they are out of the meta, we might even see the absorb trinket that exists uh, and then also the big red button is still going to be in, in, in effect. So uh, right now the meta seems to be to either uh, unuse damage, unuse heal, unuse absorb or the passive absorbs. Uh, so there's uh, a lot of options there uh, in terms of customizing and kind of uh, picking whatever suits your composition best. Well, it's also one of those things where I think traditionally at the beginning of the expansion too, we do see on-use trinkets tend to be the ones that really do shine. That's one of the things that's actually interesting about Veiled Eye. It's not an on-use trinket. I, I think that's one of the things that I, I find particularly uh -oh. interesting about it. But whoa, Looney. Oh. Yeah, Looney in a lot of trouble. Barskin gets activated, but he gets cycloned up on low HP. It doesn't look like they have a follow-up stun, but Looney could still be in a little bit of trouble. You can see Raikou actually trying to solo down Blizzo in the same uh, moment. Yeah, Blizzo could be in some trouble as well. Raikou able Looney. to get out a lot of damage. Looney's low, Blizzo's low, z into the CC. There's a bash on Waz. He actually opts to get out of that. Uh, Vortex is going to be used by Looney to get in a little bit of distance, but Looney could still be in some trouble. I actually really like the strategy from Method Black where they just use the Vendetta on Looney and just save the blind because now Looney doesn't want to... Oh, he got there. juked. Ooh. Looney just juked Waz off the side, I think. <laughs> he's he's going to have to move over anyway, but it was a nice move by Looney. As we move into deep dampening, every time he gets caught, though, he's likely to die. And Looney has been making more mistakes throughout the game, getting polyed, getting stunned out of form. And when we get to 50% dampening, he gets deleted if that happens. So he's got to be careful. The black Waz is in a little bit of trouble, Raikou. Activating his trinket, trying to get out some additional damage on the Looney, and they're really trying to punish Looney for this trinket decision. He uses the iron bark on himself, so they're able to get through that. Bar skin and trinket still available. Uh, Waz, he doesn't have the vendetta for another 45 seconds. That's going to be an opportunity for them. A little bit of damage now onto Blizzo, but it looks like Waz is using that to slow down some of the damage from XRB. Kite away once again, try to reset this game. Right. I, I want to see that smoke bomb uh, used onto Blizzard. Like right now, he's in battle stance. If they wait for that kidney shot to come back up and he's still in battle stance, I would love to see one big kidney shot bomb there, and that could really open up the game. They've already managed to get that um, uh, rallying cry out of the way from Blizzard, so uh, hopefully they could pull out his trinket out of the way that way as well, and then maybe set something up on either Looney or Blizzard, and they're going to pick Looney right here. Ooh, they get bark skin before Vendetta. This is a critical moment moving into dampening. And Looney already got caught out in a poly, now caught out in a stun. He makes that mistake again, I think he dies. So he's got to be really careful because this keeps consistently happening. z trying to switch his attention to Waz. Right now, Method Black, I feel like they've got the momentum in the lead. This map seems to be working out for them better than XRB to the moon. Waz is jumping off, going for a re-stealth. He wants to gun down for Looney. 
He's ready and waiting. Raku's putting oh, pressure oh. on Melissa. Oh, Looney trinketed. Yeah, and he has no bark skin. If West catches him out of form with a smoke bomb, that could be it, actually. He has been dead already as well. You can bet that he is yelling at Chas and Raku to be ready right now, trying to set that up. He's moving towards Looney. The kidney shot could come at any point, and that will be a deadly one if he catches Looney out of form. So keep your eyes on that one. Yeah, but the thing is about the Black, they have to find pressure on Blizzle and Z-Bi to force Looney's hand out of Bear. Get out of that CC, but you can see Wazzy's just slowly marching towards him, wants to catch him, but Looney knows exactly what's going on. Yep. He has full hots on himself. He is ready to deal with the situation. I mean, they also know that Waz is the one who initiates it, so they're attacking him. If he overextends his son's Looney, he might die, so it's good targeting decision there by XRB to the moon. We see Frozen Worm drop down, Comet Storm on z -Pi. Would have maybe liked to have seen that save for Looney. Uh, as that's like the old, old real kill window right now. Honestly, they should have pulled the trigger on Looney, even in bear form, because yeah. he didn't have bark skin. And you can definitely kill a druid through, bar uh, through bear form only if there's no bark skin, uh -oh. no trinket. Uh-oh. Waz gets storm bolted on his evasion. Oh! Can they take him down? He's in execute range. Kidney shot on Blizzone. Desperation. Polymorph on Zipai. Raikou doing everything he can to keep Waz alive, and he does escape. He was just one attack away from being taken down. But now Method Black, they've used basically everything to keep Waz alive. Yeah, they're really far behind right now, and they still have Vendetta, but they could go after z Pie and a Smoke Bomb. That's, I, I think that's definitely a possibility. They're, they're overextending him. He's got Earth Shield on himself, so he knows he's vulnerable with no Trinket. That's a nice read by z Pie. Blizzo's trying to Stormbolt Chaz and making his way over, but Raikou denies. Looney jumps in. Who is trying to go for a bash on there? And I guess nobody. Kidney shot on Blizzo. Preemptive Iron Bark was used on Z Pi, I believe. And that's so. a vendetta. Now they're going to vendetta on Blizzo and try and bait down by the sword. But Dwarf Racial removing all of Waz's damage. He's out of energy. He can't reapply those bleeds right away. And that Dwarf Racial is just so amazing in this matchup. Chaz now getting tunneled down by Blizzo. He's in a bit of danger. It's hard to escape on this map. Good support from his team, though, is allowing him time to breathe. The restealths from Waz have just been so crucial for him to keep up that significant Garou damage, keep up the off stuns onto z and Looney. Kidney shot now on Blizzo with the smoke bomb. Comet Storm comes crashing in. A little bit of damage on Blizzo as he's trying to get away from this poison bomb. Trinket does proc, but he manages to survive. Looney in the good spot with his mana. 48% dampening. Chaz even better on mana. He has no Trinket. Has to use the Bark Skin. Blizzo's there. z there. Chaz could be in some trouble as he tries to leap away. Vortex is going to be used by Looney to keep Chaz in position, but looks like Chaz will manage to survive another day. All right. Waz definitely the kill target here. They got a 13-second window to nail it. Will they be able to win in that opportunity? Waz is trying to deny. Shadow stepping back up, abusing that Z-axis. Blizzo leaps in. He's got five more seconds to kill Waz. Will he be able to do it? Two more seconds, one more second. Evasion now available. Waz unlikely to go down. He will go down the bridge, though. Now <laughs> hiding away on the outside of the map. Blizzo gets a triple blade storm. That's a lot of damage Chaz is going to have to deal with, with dampening ramping up to 52%. Yep, Waz still in a lot of trouble. He does have the Vanish, doesn't want to have to use it just yet. It's such a key part of his offense. Like I said, to get those Vanish staffs, gets those off stuns. But Chaz still running away in desperation. He trinkets out of the bash. Shadow melts the Cyclone. Very nicely done, using that Night Elf Racial to his advantage to avoid that crowd control from Looney. That's going to allow him to stabilize you know, himself and his team's HP. You know the key factor in the fact that this, the, the duration of this series, you know the key factor? Haste. From Night, Night of Racial is yep, going to change mid-series. Yeah. <laughs> that's going to miss, that's going to force Chaz to miss tides. time, his clone, and... <laughs> but it I'll, could happen. Yeah, well, it's serious time. We're at 56% dampening. and kidney shot on z -Bi. He has no trinket. Decent damage coming in from Method Black right now. There's the cheap shot on Looney with the Vanish. That's what I was talking about. Do they have follow-up? No, they do not. Unfortunately, Looney not going to get crowd control. Raikou going for a polymorph. z -Bi there to deny it. And Raikou now forced into his first ice block. I think it's an ice block to save mana more than anything. He doesn't want any momentum. Just avoid the damage rather than try and heal through it because they've got the mana advantage if they've got anything going for them right now. Waz tried to get a reset. Looney denied it. Now they're all over him. Waz could be in a bit of trouble. He's got no evasion. Blizzard Blade Storms out of the Frost Nova. z -Pi caught in the kidney shot. No trinket. Seven seconds away for that. Looney needs to do something quick, but there's nothing available. And z -Pi will be eradicated. Method Black now move to match point. Method Black have gotten a match point, which is really, really good for them. A little bit different. 
Uh, this uh, this is going to be such an interesting game. I, I really can't help but feel that XR B to the Moon is going to steamroll Method Black. Like, I really think so. I don't think Raikou is going to be able to put out that much damage. Well, also, I think it's elementals don't normally traditionally do too hot into Rogue Mage, we'll especially see. Moonkin Elemental. In the past, it's kind of got rocked by Rogue Mage. I don't think it really is the best pick. Elemental Shaman relying on that 60k burst. When you've got those trinkets that proc huge shields, you're unlikely to die to those burst windows. So I'm not really a big fan of this comp on this map into this comp. I think XRB to the Moon are kind of throwing this series away. The, the thing is, is you, you just know that that is something that you have to strategically pull Whoa, down at the right no time. Way. Looney, what is no happening? No way. Are they going to be able to take him down? Smoke Bomb, that's it. Oh, oh, that's, that's, it. that's the tournament. Oh. What? Well, I was, I've never been more wrong. XRB to the moon. They're going to walk all over Method Black. Nope. Method Black just literally wins in 20 seconds. Feed versus the fake Zebras. We're all tied up. One and one. Who is going to find themselves on match point? Who is going to get a little bit further into this tournament? Keep in mind, folks, we're doing a brand new thing. You have just entered in the middle of history the longest series that has ever been played in battle for Azeroth.